With this demo, I want to demonstrate how to leverage the commerce integration framework to connect the IAM and SAP commerce systems. The goal is to show you how easy it can be for marketers to create great shopping experiences without major effort or any IT involvement. Here we are at the homepage of our Vinia store. Let's have a look how simple a marketer can make any experience content page shoppable. The goal is to increase conversion by providing a seamless experience where our end consumer can add products to the cart from anywhere. This can be a homepage, a news article, a nice content story or any other page in IAM. We have placed the product teaser from Adobe SIF for components here. It can show product data coming from the commerce system, which is connected through Adobe and SIF. In this example, we connected SAP Commerce through Diconium's Ion SIF connector, but you could also use any third party systems like Commerce Tools. To select the product that should be shown, we open the product picker directly in IAM. The product picker then conducts a live search of the connected commerce system so that the author does not need to open the commerce system in a second window, look in and search there to remember and copy a complex product ID. We simply click on the camera and the SKU is inserted automatically. Then for this product teaser component, we select call to action. Let's pick add to cart. So the end consumer can add the product to the cart directly. We then save the component. Now let's see how it looks for the end user. We change to preview mode and do a quick patch refresh to load the newly configured component. Okay, there it is. We can see the price, picture and title, everything delivered directly from SAP Commerce. That's cool, isn't it? The end user now can click the Add to Cart button and the product is added to the cart. We can see the Vinia cart being shown in the sidebar, now including the camera. You see, just by easily leveraging IAM and the SIF core components connected to SAP Commerce, we have transferred a content page into a great shoppable experience. Okay, let's have a closer look at the product detail page to see how SAP Commerce and IAM work together in real time. For this, we go to the Commerce menu. Once we do this, we can see the available catalogs. Let's go inside the Vinia one. Similar to what we did, with the product picker, we can navigate the SAP Commerce Canal catalog inside IAM. Let's look for the same camera we used before and open its details. What we now see is a default product detail page provided by the SIF core components. Here we see general details about the product like name, price and description, as well as references to this product inside of IAM. The, all the general details are delivered from SAP Commerce. So you may wonder what happens if someone changed something in the SAP Commerce back office? That's what we show you next. We have another tab opened with the SAP Commerce back office already showing the edit screen from the same product we just saw in IAM. Now let's change the description by adding a new line saying this camera is amazing. You should buy it and save the changes. By going back to IM, we do a page refresh and we can immediately see that the new line is directly visible. This is amazing. So, however, for example, the price changed in SAP, it will also be directly reflected on our IM content page. This is because with Adobe IO and SIF connector, there is no long running import export required. The data in our IM website is directly delivered from the commerce system through Adobe I.O. to the front end. At this point, we've already seen a great part of the integration between IAM and SAP Commerce, but let's go a bit deeper. I will show you how to extend the experience for a product detail page. Again, here we see the default product detail page provided by the SIF core components. As we have learned, all the technical details like name, price and description are maintained in SAP Commerce. But we want marketers to be able to extend the shopping experiences for the customers. This can be achieved with experience fragments. At the bottom of the page, we have an experience fragment placeholder with a bottom label. Let's see how we can fill it with content. We have already prepared an experience fragment called Upsell Lens. Inside, we show a picture taken by a special lens that's compatible with the camera we were showing in the PDP. So the marketing goal is to promote the lens on the camera page. To create a connection, we open the experience fragment properties and select 
the commerce tab at the top. The product page needs to be selected. Then we simply use the product picker again. We pick the camera and the SKU is inserted. After this, we set the location to bottom, which is the same as the configured in the PDP. Now we go back to the PDP, we do a page refresh, and we will see the experience fragment is now available, creating a new marketing experience in PDP. You see, once you have connected a commerce system to Adobe I.O. and Sift, you can make use of a lot of great functionalities to bring commerce and content together. Of course, there are a lot more than what we have shown so far. For example, you can also include dynamic product lists in your content to be sure that only stocked products are shown. And you can also filter such lists for categories, tags, keywords, and lots more. Well, as you see, connecting content and commerce is not difficult. And the technical complexity decreases drastically in this enterprise scale.